All right, we have an interesting experiment that we want to try today with Mini 2. We've scanned coins in the past, but today we want to try scanning it without using scan spray. So we want to show you some tricks on how to go about doing that because uh, ultimately a coin is kind of reflective, so naturally you would need scan spray, but it still has some feature on it, but there are some tricks you could do to still get it done, accomplish this task without using scan spray. One of which is in the settings, making sure it's on dark mode. Also, you can adjust the angle. We're gonna be using dual axis turntable to make sure that the, it's parallel with how the scanner is scanning it. So we'll adjust the turntable so it's up like that and then also raise Mini 2 up and angle down on it. But another big thing is we're gonna put these little, uh, this putty around the coin itself to act as more features as the scanner is picking it up. So I got this, these glue tags right here that we use. Just put that on the dual axis turntable, relatively close to the coin. And again, this will give many two more features to pick up and trying to collect the information from the coin, the point clouds. So we got those on there. Adjust the dual axis turntable, the angle of it. And again, in settings, high accuracy, feature tracking, and not general object, but dark object. And then also with exposure, you want to adjust it manually. On the exposure meter, let's give it a try. and let it revolve at least fully around and make sure the speed of the turntable is as low as it can be. Revolve completely around. Let's see how it does then. We'll go through manual editing, starting with fusion. Also select advanced and turn the point cloud distance all the way down. Nice, so pretty good detail already. We can see what's going on there. Picked up the texture well. You can actually see the lettering just after doing fusion. Now I can say, you actually see that it says half dollar on there. Let me first use the indicator tools on the side. Now that we have all the isolation out of the way, we'll do some overlap, apply. And we don't need to smooth or simplify just because it already is a smooth surface. Let's just go directly into meshing it, apply. And there we have it. You can see our half dollar turned out pretty nice. And again, just by keeping in mind what scan settings, making sure that you're using dark object making sure that the scanner is parallel with the object. So we use dual axis turntable and raise many two up. And also we put these other objects around the coin itself to create more features. That is how it's possible to scan a coin if you do not use scan spray.